Excitement continues to build for the Summer Olympics in Paris next month, but some people are keeping a closer eye on how much pressure is being put on the world's top athletes. Gary Baumgarten has more on what's being done to prepare the competitors. As the Summer Olympics arrive in Paris next month, organizers are adding new accommodations for athletes to rest more than just their bodies. They're also providing for the first time accreditation to essentially mental health professionals. And I think there's 70-ish countries around the world that are taking advantage of that separate accreditation to provide additional mental health support services to their athletes. The Olympians will also have access to quiet spaces next to workout areas where they can decompress. Dr. Sky Arthur Banning, who studies mental health in the amateur sports environment at Clemson University, says since the 2020 Olympics, when U.S. gymnast Simone Biles left the Games because of stress, focusing on athletes' mental well-being has become a higher priority while they are still competing. We had seen athletes either upon retirement or after the events coming out and talking about their challenges. I think Simone and a few others were really the first during competition to say, I need to step away. Arthur Banning says for many athletes, the end of the games is often the toughest on their mental health. We do have lots of research that supports the sort of post-Olympic blues or post-Olympic depression. And for many of athletes, it is retirement. And so thinking about the elements that sport does provide and how do we transition them into retirement. One way athletes are able to improve their mental health is through building a community of support with family members and teammates. I've got more confidence because I, I trust others around me because right, my teammates are going to be supportive of me regardless of my performance, that kind of thing. Gary Baumgarten, Fox News.